there are pastors, preachers right now in the United States that are using artificial intelligence to create their sermons. Wow, I, I don't know about y'all, but I have a lot of mixed emotions about these things. That um, were, Can they be of use? Probably. I mean, you probably can ask artificial intelligence to do a lot of research into a lot of different spiritual topics that can be of benefit because it's using all the information that they can possibly collect from everywhere and, and feeding it to you. Although I'm, I'm really struggling with this uh, AI for sermons and for philosophical discussions with and amongst ourselves. Humans built it, but then it starts self-learning. And can we be thwarted? Can we be led astray? Some people say you're led astray if you're a Buddhist or if you're a Christian or if you're a Muslim or, you know, whatever it is. Anybody that, uh, we get comments all the time that if you don't accept Jesus, then you're going to burn in hell forever. Uh, and then you get Muslims. That, you know, I mean, it just, it goes on. That everybody believes that they're right. So if AI knows all the information that can possibly exist, then is AI right about the sermons that they create? Their spirituality uh, is non-existent. They're a machine. And then some people argue that we are AI. We are a machine. Boy, it gets confusing in a really big philosophical way that I'm really struggling with. And if you're struggling with it, does that kind of hurt your brain, your mind, your heart? <laughs> because I would love y'all's input and some comments on this subject because it's fascinating. I don't know that this AI machine as it gets self-learning, can it go into its own form of meditation to prepare that? Is it just non-thinking? And then a human pastor, preacher, whatever it is, whatever religion, uses what the computer generates as their talking points. I don't know. It scares me. I, th I think we could easily be led astray. I can't pronounce his name because I kind of forget. It's Harari Naval, whatever it is. He's the historian for the uh, World Economic Forum. He believes that AI is going to ultimately become people's gods. That's kind of easy to understand why somebody would believe that because look at us now. We're constantly on social media working up those endorphins uh, for, you know, hey, look at me, look at me. I'm so important. Um, it seems like we're losing a big part of our humanity is getting lost in technology. Even though technology is such a wonderful tool, it allows us to do what we're doing now. It, it, it allows us to communicate with people and friends around the world. And like, it, there's so many wonderful things about technology, and then there's so many pitfalls. I think we should be extraordinarily cautious. So with that, Please leave your comments. If these kind of topics that make you think, make you start examining your own thoughts and how you view yourself and how to deal with all the different slices of personalities that you have inside so you can know yourself better, communicate with yourself better, so you can practice the art of listening and knowing your friends and family and loved ones better and communicate more clearly so you can ultimately have better communication with the source of all things, God, then that resonates with you. Then join us more on our other videos. And if you're in the local area, right here on the Louisiana-Texas border, in between Shreveport and Marshall, 30 minutes from Shreveport, 25 minutes from Marshall, super easy. Come out and see us. And it's a great family-friendly environment. Uh, after our Sunday gatherings, we do all sorts of fun things. Oh, we are every Sunday uh, watching some uh, Joe Dispenza on the Dr. Joe Dispenza on how to 
uh, use our minds to elevate our our bodies and our spirit and our how we manifest things into our life fascinating so i would uh, encourage y'all to come out we'd love to get to know you and develop deep meaningful relationships so with that visit us at mysticsoftexas.com mysticsoftexas.com and like and subscribe if you like it like it if you don't don't do anything but uh, I would enjoy y'all's comments on this because I just find it fascinating and, and perplexing. I'm formulating my own thoughts about this as we speak. So thank y'all. We'll see you next time.